Hello everybody, Princess the Bear here, and we're back at Disney Springs, clearly. And uh, we're kind of hungry, so we decided yeah. we're going to go to uh, Carolina. Carolina. But uh, we've heard good things, we've yes. never had an opportunity to try it. And with Disney Springs being the only thing open, we have plenty of time now. Might as well, it's so, a bella note. We're going to go there and check it out and see what they actually have these. Be sure to eat your veggies. You heard the girl. one of those awesome locations that gives you a cool little bag for your masks so that's pretty pretty good they also have hand sanitizer and even Clorox wipes everywhere so that's really cool they're definitely taking steps here they're, they're doing good here at Carolina so start with the Merlot I love these glasses Oh, that's really good. It's very fruity, full body bodied. I love that. I guess we were gonna have to order some of these glasses. I made it really easier to roll. Hmm. Sweet, dry, not too dry. Three to five plus. I get a bottle of that. And then these Stella Amorsa Cano I'm bad at these names. It smells similar. Almost tastes like a pintage, but a little bit more like um, berry y. There's a lot of berry tones in that one. Very earthy. Not a bad way. Not yeah. too sharp. I like it. Two and a half out of five pots. Merlot is still my favorite. And then this one, the Promivido. Right there, guys. I think I like this one the best. It's very fruity. These are all really great wines. I'm glad I got this light. I wish I'd gotten a full glass of each one of these because it's, this is really good. I, I would say this is number two. My first favorite flight is definitely at Victoria Falls though. Can't beat Victoria Falls. Ooh. It's smooth to the bunch. Very drinkable. Earthy but not too much. And that one, four and a half to five plus. I would definitely drink a whole glass of that. Vodka Gimlet. It smells lemony. I mean limey. Not my jam. That's just Gimlet. Looks like just lemon water and whoa, it reeks of gin. Yeah, I don't hate it. It's like a really tart lemonade. Three and a half out of five pods. Flight number two is the Aromatic and Off Dry. So this one is called the Caramin Waffentraumer. I can't pronounce it. It's, it looks German. It smells very fruity. It definitely feels like a dessert wine. Very aromatic. Clean and crisp, like fruity notes. I have it two and a half out of five plus. It's sharp for me. This one is a Moscato. Really good. It's also a little carbonated, which is great. This 
use this Moscato. I did do an internet search to make sure there's no mango in here because there is citrus. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> you're good to go. Thank you. No problem. Ooh. The Moscato is almost syrupy in its like texture and like, it would be like a perfect like dessert wine. You get that four out of five bucks. And then this one is a Lambersco. Smells amazing. Also carbonated, which reminds me of another drink that I usually drink at home. This is a winning flight right here. I like it. As for this last one. Ooh. I think we have something similar to this at home. It's slightly carbonated. A um, little bit sweet, but not too much. For a tickle to tongue. I like that. Three out of five plus. All good wines though. I'm really impressed with their flights here. So, I got this Italian blonde. It's a Minabrea. Bonita. It's a super pretty bottle. Hmm. Board's really easy. how like a, like a light beer should taste. The blonde, like it's nice and crisp, drinkable, but it tastes like actual beer. This may be one of my new favorites. I'm gonna have to track this down like when we get back home. That's a four and a half out of five plus. I definitely would drink an entire case of these. Now I'm gonna try Bear's beer. actually not too poppy which I'm cool with that it's it's very aromatic I feel it's got like a little floral taste to it not too hoppy I might drink this but I prefer the wine flights here I'm not doing the beer thing so I got the penne marinara there's three different type of pasta noodles that you can have with the marinara that's vegan they can also do a vegan pizza, and they have a vegetable sandwich that you can get veganized as well. But I was really feeling pasta, so I'm just gonna go for the penne marinara. It smells sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of a better version of the Penne marinara pasta that I got from Tutto Italia. Hello. So I just got the regular penne. Everybody else got penne. I got penne. I was feeling left out. And this is vegan. You know what makes this? The sauce. I will eat this whole plate. I will put a link to that in the description box down below. It's the same like flavor palette and sweetness. This would be great as leftovers for home. Put some vegan parm on there and just go to town with some bread. Very delicious. And I would definitely come back for this. So this is a rather large portion of pasta. I would feel that when we go to an Italian restaurant on Disney property and we ask for plant-based, they always over provide as if to make up for the lack of something, which isn't necessary. Not that I'm gonna complain about getting more food for a dollar at Disney, but it's always like more than the princess is ever gonna eat. This is like three princess meals right here. It's probably like two for me, but it's a lot of food. It's well cooked, got some tomatoes in there, basil. marinara sauce is very flavorful. The penne is like covered and imbibing it like it didn't feel like it was just dumped on top. It was definitely like cooked, soaked up with flavor. Mm. And it feels like a complete dish. It's herby. The pasta is perfect. You don't really feel like you're missing out on anything. 
I definitely couldn't finish this whole thing, but it is very tasty. I'd give this a four out of five. I would eat this on my own. Now me, I just happened to shock and surprise everybody and get fish. Because you know that's so unlike me. But I got the catch of the day, which is a grilled salmon, which appears to be on top of a bed of spinach with some like uh, fingerling potato wedges and like some olives and, and whatnot through here. So let's go ahead and try these potatoes first. I'm curious. Look perfectly crisp on the outside. Completely soft on the inside, perfectly cooked. Lightly off a little rest, nothing crazy. Perfect skin, soft on the inside, it should be. Now, as for the salmon, got a nice sear on the outside, perfectly flaky on the inside, falls apart. Don't even need the knife. Let's get that. Let's get an olive. Looks oh, very good. Thank you. I'm uh, about to try it. See how it comes out. The spinach, potato, olive, and salmon. Mm. The olive gives it a nice tartness. A little bit of salt to the, the salmon. The salmon is it's perfectly cooked. I see it's like on the edge of being a little bit dry. With the olive oil and the olives sort of help with that. It's flavorful all the way through. It's definitely well seasoned. I like how seared it is. I like the spinach. It's a good dish. Better get it's light. So I won't feel too bad about eating in this heat, but I would probably order this again. It's not bad. I would give it a uh, three out of five plus. I would say the princess is just better, but this is quite good on its own. Not only did I finish my plate before Bear, I took away my ability to have leftovers at home to make this extra vegan -y. So I guess it was good because I inhaled it. I've never been here before outside of like the outside bar and I feel like I, we need to come back here like again and again and again because the food here is really good. I can't complain. I mean the wine is great too but I obviously inhaled this dish so the food and the wine. We didn't get any bread though which I thought was weird being in an Italian place but like I have all this extra sauce I could totally dip this in some bread. Instead, it's just sauce on my plate that I might actually eat because it was that good. Just like. Good. Hey, everybody. So, we just finished it. Terralina. Terralina was amazing. Yes, it was actually a great surprise. The food was good, the drinks were good, and uh, we felt like we slept on this place for far too long. Absolutely. I'm glad we finally got to go, and they have so many vegan options. Like. Options, options. Down. Uh, down. Definitely, if you're plant based or vegan, come check this place out. I agree. Uh, it definitely deserves your time. If you're not vegan like myself, there's plenty of things on the menu for you to try and plenty of cocktails to keep you busy. Absolutely. Uh, any other thoughts, Princess? It's amazing. If you're in an Italian mood, highly, highly recommend. Yeah, and there's a good view of the little spring oh, while you're out here. Yeah, of the water. Yeah, yeah. But uh, definitely, we want to know have you guys been to Terralina? If so, leave us a comment below. If there's any other restaurants like this you need to know, obviously, hit that notification bell so you can get notified of those and let us know where you'd like us to go next. And remember, we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the drill.